Candace, and Petfoot and Moody. Give me a kiss, Petfoot. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Fist bump. Was that was that necessary? Fist bump. High five. All right, there you go. So we are here to unbox our February 2017 Bam Box. Um, this is my third or fourth, I can't remember. Um, I like the Bam Box. It's okay. It's not one of my favorite boxes. I think it's just a little too art heavy for me. Why well, I am an artist myself and I... I like art. You can only get so much stuff. Stop. You can only get so much stuff and um, I don't have a lot of wall space to be hanging a lot of stuff. So, um, I, they, and they do a lot of autograph stuff, which is, which is cool. I mean, we all like autographed items, but, um, personally for me, just like I said, the box is a little art heavy. I did absolutely love their October watching box the, for Halloween. Um, I think that was a really great box. Um, I do think, um, it got a little too much hate, but I, I loved it. Um, and I, I did get the anniversary band box, and I've already put it over there. Oh, now we'll get it. Right, so I had gotten the January box, the, their anniversary box, because I originally missed out on the, I think it was the first or second box where they had the um, Friday the 13th Jason Mass same, signed by Ari Lehman. So I really wanted to get it this time because I was going to Days of the Dead Atlanta um, the beginning of this month. So I, wanted, I was hoping I would get that box in time to take to the convention to get signed. And I did. Um, so uh, I'll show you guys. I finally got a shadow box frame to put it in last week. There we go. And it was signed by... Um, it's, when we got it, it was already signed by Ari Lehman. But I took it to the convention. And it was also signed by Kane Hodder. CJ Graham, Steve Dash, Derek Mears, Adrian King, and Tom Savini. So it's now in a box. So I was really, really glad I got um, the January BAM box. And I enjoyed the box. It was pretty good. I don't remember everything that was in it. Um, but I did get a Ghostbuster cell that was really awesome. And I like the pen. And I actually have got. I had gotten the zombie brass knuckle pins, but I got the the Strangers Thing Dustin hat um, as well. So um, it wasn't a bad box. But then the next theme for this month um, was the 90s, and I was kind of on the fence about getting it. Um, and I already know what's in the box because somebody spoiled it for me, so I've already looked in my box, see what I got. And I, I'm just, I really wasn't very impressed. And, and I'm not trashing Bambox. I like Bambox. I do think in general they do pretty good boxes. If that's your thing. Um, like I said, it's not particularly my thing. But there were some things that came out of the 90s that I liked. So, you know, I was interested in just checking out the box. Um, I'm more of a 70s, 80s kid because I was born in 73. Um... But again, there's stuff, you know, from the 90s till now I like as well, as well as from 80s, 70s, 60s, so, and back. Um, but I just wasn't real impressed with the spot, and that's okay. Um, I'm not getting all up in arms about it like some people do, and start throwing things, and throwing tantrums, and calling it trash, and throwing it in the dumpster, setting it for, I mean, people are just acts act a fool and act stupid um you all heard me say before if you don't like random mystery boxes and gonna hate what's in it don't spend your money on it and take that money and go buy what you do want otherwise you know you should sh shut up you know it's just ridiculous to, to complain about it i i take items i don't like in a box and i put in a giveaway box or in in, in an album on facebook where I can share in the buy sell trade groups um, 
you know, I have friends that want to buy the items. So, you know, there's always a win-win if you don't like something in the box. So I don't get all upset over it. Um, the first thing we have in the box is the pen. And this is pretty much the only item I like in the box. Um, and it, But it is the one pen that I was hoping to get. And I did so. I'm happy with that even though what? Thirty-something dollar pen was a little expensive. Um, I still got the pen. What was fuzz is stuck on me? Um, I did get the pen I wanted, and it was Furby. And that was the one I wanted, so I'm I'm happy with that. It'll go on my pen board soon. I got the pen. Um. If you were lucky enough to get um, the art upgrade box, which we all know what the controversy is surrounding fan box and certain YouTubers and certain people getting this because they kiss butt. I'm not going to get into all that, but um, we kind of know how some of that goes. So I'm, just, you know, not getting get that drama. But if you were one of those lucky people, you got the um the set of three prints this one is showdown in cyberspace and it's agent smith versus uh neo which is obviously uh the matrix i freaking hate the matrix they had two other prints that were um one was saved by the bell ac slater versus sack morris um gag or um, Austin Powers versus Dr. Evil. That's the one I wanted. Um, but I didn't get it, but I'm sure I can probably trade for it or whatever. It's not a big deal. The next thing we got, and I had a feeling these were going to show up in a box. And I was right. Actually, I figured they would show up in this box, and particularly considering it's a 90s theme box but it's in fact a beanie baby a Thai beanie baby and yes I did collect some of these um, but I was specific this is Rover and I actually had Rover um, just because it's cute and I like dogs but um, I mostly collect collected um, bears and the teddy bears because I'm native and my my totem spirit animal I was given to as a little girl from a shaman was in fact the bear. So I love bears. So I, I love the um, bears and teddy bears that the Thai Beanie Babies had out. So I, I tried to collect <coughs> a lot of those and I still do on occasion when I see one I like. Um, but I, I do have some of the so-called rare ones, like uh, one of the first dinosaurs, Bronte, and um, Garcia, Tabasco, you know, many of the old ones, not because they were rares. I got them when they first came out, and I just got them because I liked little animals and little plushies, so I, have, I still have some of those really rare ones. Um, uh, <sighs> People still think Beanie Babies have extreme value, and they don't. All because something, and this can apply to any collectible, all because somebody listed on eBay or an antique shop at a certain price, that doesn't mean that's what the value is. Um, Beanie Babies really have no more value than $5. Um, all these people posting about... Um, the princess, the purple princess Diana bear. Oh, it's got an air, so it's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. No, it's not. It's just really not. Um, I, nobody gives a crap um, about Beanie Babies. They just don't. They're cute, and I like them. You know, but I, I like a lot of other plushes too. So it's, I, I had to say some. That just makes me crazy. It's they're not worth crap. People, get over it. Um, so. 
we have this um, item from Boston Creative Company. And it's actually, I'll give it as a decent item. I'm not a huge Seinfeld fan. I like the series. I watch it sometimes. Um, you know, it's, it's still on reruns. You can find it streaming. I wasn't into it, but I liked watching it. But, um, this item is, is kind of funny, kind of novelty, um, but it says, no soup for you. It was, it's a silver spoon from, uh, with a quote from the soup Nazi. If you've seen Seinfeld, you know who that is. Come on. Oh, well, it says, no soup for you, but, let's say, if you know... If you've seen Seinfeld, you know the reference. So. I mean, the item's okay. Not really my thing. Like I said, I'm not a Seinfeld fan. But, you know, whatever. So the last item in the box and comes with a cer certificate of authenticity because it is a signed item. It is an actual, and it's very heavy, an actual signed hockey puck signed by Matt Darty and he played in the Mighty Ducks wasn't a fan of Mighty Ducks so I really don't give a crap about this item either um, the Bambox Certificate of Authenticity this official size hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty who played Les Averman in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise during a private signing with the BAM box. Okay, so this uh, this COA actually goes with the puck. This one went to the print and the print is actually numbered this is 698 out of 2000. So that is it for the box. Got our book. So <clears throat> I would have liked well the, the furry pen was the number one I wanted, but I would like to get the other three as well. Not because of rarity or variance or any of that stupid crap a lot of people get into I just want it because I just I love any old pens and these are all just really cool looking I, Beanie Babies from the 90's Commons and Rares um one of the biggest if not biggest Collection booms, booms from the 90s was Beanie Babies. These little animals were everywhere and they became a craze. And yes, they did. I, I had to stand in many a line just to get one that I liked, like a dragon or a unicorn or something. And people actually assaulted little kids and snatched them from their hands. I actually beat somebody up for attacking a kid. That's how insane grown adults were as they were assaulting little, little toddlers and snatching them from their hands. It was crazy. We wouldn't be um, a collector's box if we didn't pay homage to these and it wouldn't be right to use anything current so we tracked down collectors all over the country to find actual Beanie Babies with 90's tags on them. Look for some rares to show up in certain boxes valued at 50 or more. Now see that kind of gets on my nerves about this box with this item because nobody's really buying Beanie Babies for more than five dollars ten at the most they're they're just not because nobody cares anymore that's why so many people call pops you know it's the the Beanie Babies of this generation pretty much so um you know, it's just ridiculous. They don't have any value. And to put this in the box as an item of, like, significant value, that that's, to me, that's just kind of deceptive. I mean, in a, in a 90s theme box, to give a shout-out with 
to Beanie Babies like that, that's great. But don't don't put an extreme value on it to try to make the box look like it's more value than it is because it's just not. Because um, they're just not really worth anything. But I appreciate getting them in the box. I don't like to have a bear. It's because I love bears. But I lost my rover a long time ago. So I'm, I'm glad to have a rover back. So I'm not not complaining about that. I like Beanie Babies. I think they're cute. So we have official size hockey puck signed by Matt Doherty. Um, and you could either get it in silver or gold writing. Um... Like I said, I wasn't a fan of Mighty Ducks, so I don't really give a crap about this item. Um, but I'm a silver kind of girl anyway, not gold, so, you know, whatever. Then those are the, the other prints you could have gotten. Oh, hitting the mic. I think it was, let's see. Yeah, the moon base melee, the the red one. That's the one I wanted. The Austin Powers one. And there's the Say by the Bell one. Then Bam Box No Soup for You Custom Soup Spoons. Soup sp soup spoons. Rough day. You're pushing your luck, little man. It became one of the sayings that encapsulated the 90s no soup for you. Though he only appeared in one episode, the soup Nazi made a huge splash on the show. Seinfeld, due to his temperament and inconsistence on his strict manner of behavior while placing an order for the soup. Check out the check out this custom spoon donning the famous quote. So that's what the spoon looks like. Yeah. So next month's theme is indestructible. I canceled my box or paused it or whatever because um, that's not really a theme I would be into really. So that's the inside the box. I do like the box artwork. Anyway, that is the February 2017 fan box. Um, personally, for me, it, it wasn't the best box. I mean, it was, uh, for me, it was a $36 pin. Because that's the only thing I really liked out of the box. Well, like I said, the BB, BB. Boom, I don't know. Um, but... I like the pins, so, you know, whatever. I can kind of see if I can find a trade to get the the other poster that I wanted. The Austin Powers theme one. But, other than that, I mean, I can't say it's a too awful box. It just wasn't for me. Um, but I know a lot of people are um, pissed off and flipping out and uh, trashing band box. I don't know. I'm... As you, as you can tell, I'm kind of getting over a lot of the subscription box thing. Um, some of it just doesn't really hold excitement for me to do unboxings anymore. But I'm still going to do some. I'm trying to look at new boxes and um, check into more boxes that I've, I've tried previously. So, um, yeah, it is what it is. Not a bad box, just not a box that's really for me, but, you know, that's the band box for this month. And he's out cold over here, I'm not going to bother him, so I'll say it for him. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hit the little notification bell in the description box below to be um, notified when we have new content posted on our channel. That's it for us. Peace out.